when I was in school, my teacher asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I said I wanted to be a time traveler. My teacher took my answer very seriously, and she asked me why. <laughs> I told her that was easy. See, I wanted to talk to my great-great-great-grandmother and grandfather who took their two kids from Boston by wagon all the way to Iowa. I also wanted to talk to the Wright brothers and find out why they wanted to fly so much and to ask an American Indian what he thought of the first European settler he ever encountered. My teacher gave me a special mission to visit the Carl and Mary Kaler History Center to meet interesting people from the past. She said that the folks at the History Center could get me started on my own time travels, and I have been having adventures in the past ever since. My name is Vince the Volunteer, and now it's my turn to show others how the History Center makes it possible for you to travel back in time. I'm going to show you all around the History Center, and I'm even going to take you some places most visitors don't get to go, so you can have your own adventures in time. Come on, let's go! On my first trip to the History Center, I visited Living Along the Tributaries, the permanent exhibit which explores several different eras of the history of Lynn County, going all the way back to before even the American Indians were here. As you walk through the exhibit, you'll move from prehistory to the times of the American Indians to pioneer life, farming, the Civil War, immigration, the rise of businesses. While experiencing the everyday life of people who lived here in Lynn County before you did, we tell this story by using artifacts and photographs that are on display. The History Center also has temporary exhibit spaces that allow us to change things up once in a while. Past exhibits have included Corn County, the Boy Scouts of America, and more. Be sure to visit often because there's always something new and interesting to see in the temporary exhibit area. The History Center also has a special time traveler's room where you can experience different eras in time through interactive displays. You can watch a video of an experimental Lippish Delta wing plane, or even listen to an old time radio show like oh, Superman. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. My adventures in the past went even further when I was introduced to the History Center's library and archives. One of the librarians got me started by looking at what we call secondary sources, like newspaper clippings and books about local history. When I shared with her my wish to meet people from the past, she said we should go directly to what we call primary sources, and that the archives were full of letters and scrapbooks and diaries and, and city directories, maps, all kinds of documents. And then she introduced me to a lady by the name of Jane Kelsey, who was a pioneer lady who wrote lots and lots of letters. And now these letters, along with some of her other belongings, are part of the collection. I know that the librarians at the History Center can introduce you to some pretty cool people from Lynn County's past. Don't be afraid to ask for their help. That's why they're here. Hey, over here. I was amazed the first time I went in the collections room. There are rows and rows of shelves filled with all kinds of artifacts. Some things are easy to recognize, like this phone, but other things look very strange, like this. It's a vacuum cleaner. Some things are teeny tiny, while other things are quite large. Some are well over 100 years old, and some were made recently. So what do all these things have in common? They all help tell the story of Lynn County, Iowa. You may wonder, why isn't all this cool stuff on display? Well, some objects may be too large to be easily displayed or too fragile to be exposed constantly to light. And just imagine if all this stuff were put out to sea, the History Center would probably need to be 20 times as large so each item could be properly viewed. And it would take visitors days and days to see it all. So why does the History Center keep all this stuff? Artifacts like the ones on the shelves may be exhibited later either by being added into the permanent exhibit or during installation of a brand new exhibit. And sometimes 
Other museums need to borrow items to complete their exhibits, or researchers simply want to examine an artifact to see how it has evolved over time. And every now and then, someone may need to take a photograph or create film footage to showcase an artifact online or in a book. And where does the History Center get its artifacts? In most cases, people decide to donate items. When people are cleaning out their garages or their basements, they find things that they don't necessarily want to keep, but they recognize as being old or interesting and relating to the history of Lynn County. So before they throw them away or sell them, they call the History Center. In over 40 years of collecting items, the History Center has over 50,000 items in its collection. There are a lot of interesting things to see and do at the History Center, but there are things that you need to do to help us make sure that our artifacts and archival items last a long, long time. I learned from the staff that we all have oils on our fingers, and because of this, each time a staff member handles an artifact or photograph or document, they wear white gloves to prevent the oils from transferring onto the item. As a rule, the things that are kept behind the exhibit rails are not to be touched. On special occasions, like with some group tours, the History Center staff will select objects from a teaching collection that can be touched or handled. The staff will let you know if this is the case. The exhibits also have some interactive components. Computer screens, push buttons, try-on clothing, games, and other features are there to enhance the visitor's experience. If you are with a group, Remember to follow instructions, because there will be times to try these interactive components, but there also will be times to participate in discussions or complete activities with the group. When you're in the History Center, it's important to keep in mind that others are trying to learn too. So, you need good manners, such as speaking in a soft voice or keeping your hands to yourself and walk at a normal pace. Don't run. There are so many interesting stories and fascinating people to meet here. So enjoy the experience and come back often. And maybe you can become a time traveler just like me.